let's solve this one first. This is actually a pretty famous equation, right? In fact, I've done this a few times before already. Here, I'll just write down the note for you guys. So that way you can solve this within like one second. But here, here's the deal. Whenever we have the equation in the form of x to the x power, and in fact, you can have as many x's as you would like, as long as it's, the, it's a finite amount of x's. So we have to stop somewhere, and then the very last part right here, it has to be a power, let's call it to be n. And if this right here is equal to n, well, this equation is really famous and will tell you that the answer is just x is equal to the nth root, let me just write it down like this, the nth root of n. And in fact, this right here will be the only solution if n is greater than 1. If n is in between of 0 and 1, then we will have to use the Lambert W function, but you can check out my other video for it. Here we are just talking about 3 and 3, so we'll just do this, right? And in fact, if n is equal to 1, uh, x is just equal to 1, so it still works. So technically, n is greater than equal to 1, but yeah. All right, so with that being said, what's the answer for this equation? Well, we'll have two x's, yeah? But same thing, x is just equal to the cube root of 3, and then we are done. I will verify this for you guys real quick. I'm going to plug in this into this x and that x, and you'll see it works. So here we have the cube root of 3, and then raised to the x, which is cube root of 3, and then this is another power 3, right? And then whenever we have to work this out, we actually look at this exponent here first. So just ignore that. Okay, you see that we have a cube root, and this is the third power. Guess what? Yeah, they cancel. Good. So right here we have a 3 for the power for this. And guess what? This is the cube root. So this 3 and the cube root cancel. Therefore, we just get this 3 right here, which is exactly what we want. It checks. All right? I know I didn't really like solve it. I just tell you guys this is like the quick way to do it. Because you should know this, it's really famous, all right? I will show you guys a more legitimate way to solve this right here. You can use the same method, same approach to take care of that. So that's why I didn't show you guys any computations over there. Okay. 36. What do we do? Well, I told you guys a very nice situation here, right? Here, I'll also tell you guys a very nice situation whenever we are dealing with this kind of equations. So I'll write this down right here for you guys. Whenever we have the equation, if we have x to the x power, just two x's. If this is equal to n to the n, this equation here is also very easy to solve. We will just have x is equal to n. Of course, right? x is equal to n, x is equal to n. But here we also have a technical part. In order for this to be the only answer, we will have to make sure that if n is greater than or equal to 1, if n is in, in between of 0 and 1, we will have to use the Lambert W function again. Worst part is, we will actually have to use different branches. So yeah. But anyway, let's see how we can make this work. 36. Uh, okay, uh, 36, what do we know about 36? 36 is the same as 6 times 6, so we can write it as 6 squared. Okay, but this right here has three parts, oh my goodness. But let's just write it down and see what happens. Alright, this is not good. Because in order for us to use this, the base and the power have to be the same. This base is 6, the power right here is only a 2. So how can we make the 2 to become a 6? Don't say add 4 to it. No. Think about multiplication. In order for us to multiply a 3 right here to get a 6, that's what? We are raising both sides to the third power. Alright? So on the right hand side, we can legitimately say that's 6 to the 2 times 3, which is 6 power. And then on the left hand side, you look at this as a power, right? x to this power, and then to the third power, so you multiply x cubed with 3. So we get x to the 3 times x to the third power. 
So on the right hand side, we have the n to the n, so that's pretty good. But on the left hand side, what can we do? Notice we have x plus third power, yeah? And then multiply with the x plus third power here. So in fact, we can rewrite this as the following. We can purpose write it as x plus third power first, all right? And then raise to the x to the third power. Why? Because again, you can just multiply this and that together, we get that. So thanks to the rule of exponents. Now, we can use this right here. But it does not mean x is equal to 6, because you have to put this down, right? You see, x plus third power is equal to 6. x plus third power is equal to 6. All right? x plus third power is equal to 6. And of course, 6 is greater than 1. So it, we only have one answer for this. And of course, this right here will tell us x is equal to the cube root of 6. And then we are done.